Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Week. I'm sitting down with Cynthia Took and Roman Gritsky. And you guys have brought a spring level. So we do want to point out this is a, a partnership. It is. <laughs> between Stronghold and... And it's so spirits. <laughs> So what are we going to expect from Spring Meadows? Lots of Tetrisy pieces that need to be fitting again. And marmots! It's all about the marmots! Marmots! <laughs> Can you confidently say this is perhaps the first board game in modern history with marmots? It's my favorite no. board game with there marmots. There you go. That's a safe bet to say. <laughs> Alright, what are we trying to accomplish? Spring Meadow, it's the beginning of spring. And there's winter and snow on the mountains. And we place our tiles on this part, on this mountain. So we should show that show this it. one is still in winter. It's winter. And we really want to bring this beautiful greenness over to our, our snow board. And over the course of the game, we will place our uh, meadow tiles here and make the make the meadows bloom. And we'll just pick some and show that for a second. over the course of the game the board will fill up and when there is a scoring there are interactive scoring rounds when there's a scoring we start with the uh, with the column and count every full column until the first unfinished column if this column is uh, completed then we can also count this column where also we see these marmot holes they are special they are first uh, obstacles where we have to puzzle around or place the tile that you can see the burrow through the hole. And there are also points in the scoring. Um, yeah, the important uh, differences to the other games are those holes we saw in Indian Summer already. And if you place two holes together, then you get these uh, extra tiles, these um, rock tiles where, that you have to place immediately. And it's depending on how many holes you connect, how big the rock tile will be. Yeah, and some might recognize sort of the art styling from this. We should yeah. mention that this is a continuation of uh, Leo Rosenberg's... Right, this is number three. Number three. So we first had Cottage Garden, and then Indian in summer. summer, and now Spring Meadow. Spring right. Meadow. That's the end, where we have two seasons in one game combined. <laughs> Uh, it, they're very different games. Yes. They all have that tetris -y feel, yes. but they're very different games on how you get to the end and how you score. And having played the first two, I would definitely agree with that. Yeah. Um, but they all have a, a very particular charm to them. They that, do. That is, makes, the, aside from the clever gameplay and the, the very tetris -y thing that is very Rosenberg now, yes. um, that he started with patchwork, um, that this one in particular has marmots. Marmots. Yes. There he is. We'll put him right <laughs> smack in the middle of the board there <laughs> in all his glory. <laughs> now, would you say those are decently equitable to like cats? No, no. actually, they're very. Marmots in this game, you, it's okay to have a marmot hole. <laughs> you don't want to see the marmot because yeah. the marmot. It's like I'm seeing a groundhog. So the, <laughs> the hole when it's covered is, is a scoring point. When you get a marmot coming out of it, he's blocking the hole and you're not going to score it anymore. So, as much as I love marmots, they really do take up my scoring and I'd rather score. So, um, so marmots, you don't want to see the marmots, you just want to see their holes. Yeah. Now, like his other games, I assume this play is also 2-4. 1-2-4. I was going to say, is has, there a solo version? Yeah, it's a very, very crisp solo version. I, I dare to say I think no one can beat it in the first time. It's really, really hard. Oh, challenge yeah. accepted. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, uh, we have a two-sided board. On the other side, there's also the three-player version where you use the diagonals as well. Now, how is the same style? It has the board marking yeah. to cut down on AP so you can start to plan ahead. Yeah. I yeah. love that planning ahead. Now, how would you say this compares in complexity to the other ones in this line? It's, it's in between. It's more than Cottage Garden, but it's slightly, uh, slightly less than Indian Summer. Yeah. Well, if you guys want to check that out, that is Spring Meadow, which is the next Louis Rosenberg game. And Courtney, <laughs> Cynthia, and Roman, thank you so much for letting us take a quick Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>